We had told you about Bill Donahue. Uh, he is the head of the Catholic League. Uh, it's an organization that has approximately three and a half people in it, uh, complaining uh, that uh, Guinness pulled its sponsorship from the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York, and that he was going to strike back because Guinness had pulled it uh, since the parade organizers did not allow gay uh, people to march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Uh, he was going to retaliate by marching in the Gay Rights Parade. He said, oh, yeah? I'd like to march in there by saying, straight is great. I'm going to have a sign just like that. Now, he, of course, expected uh, the organizers of that parade to be as close-minded as the organizers of the St. Patrick's Parade. He was duly disappointed when they said, uh, great, we'd love to have you. And in fact, their statement was, his group's presence affirms the need for this year's pride theme. We have won when we are one. Straight is great, as long as there's no hate. So that was a very clever way of responding, and they certainly meant it. And they say, absolutely, you're welcome to uh, walk with us. Now, our sense here on the show was that Bill Donahue didn't really mean to walk in the parade. He was hoping that they were, like I said, as closed off to outsiders uh, or people that they didn't necessarily associate with as he is. Now, now, the reality is, of course, gay groups are not like that. They're surrounded by straight folks. <laughs> they never had problem with straight folks. All they ever wanted was the same, not more, the same rights as straight uh, citizens in this country have. So they said, look, we're a collection of people that are gay, bisexual, transgender, and if you want to be straight as part of that group, great, have at it, Hoss. And as we suspected, Bill Donahue not only did not really intend to uh, participate in the parade, wanted to just show, show them up, but if his bluff was called, would not actually participate in the parade. And of course, that's the announcement today. So Bill Donahue says, today I informed Heritage of Pride officials that I objected to their rule requiring me to attend gay training sessions, or what they call information sessions. I don't agree with your rule, I said. They responded by saying that attendance was mandatory. You see that? Turns out they're going to turn Bill Donahue gay. Well, he's not going to go along with that. Okay, of course, he's lying as always. You know what was mandatory for all groups participating, not just Bill Donahue's? It's not gay training programs. Of course not. Who would See, only bigoted people like Donahue would think like that. Well, what would we do? We would try to do brainwashing and indoctrination to make everybody like us, right? No. You know what the actual purpose of the mandatory meeting was? A safety orientation meeting. Of course, of course, if you're going to march in a parade, you need to know where to go and how to be safe and not do the wrong things. Nobody was indoctrinated. The, the Heritage of Pride officials were like, gay or gay, what is he talking about? And then my favorite part of it is uh, he also insisted that the second reason he uh, uh, would not march was because they were going to make him wear, quote, LGBT paraphernalia. <laughs> yeah, they were going to make you wear um, a boa, a pink triangle. Okay. No, of course they weren't going to make you wear anything. Here it is your pride officials like, do we have to respond to this? <laughs> of course we weren't going to make him wear paraphernalia. No, he didn't have to wear a rainbow. He didn't have to wear anything. We welcomed him to the march. And of course, he welcomed himself back into, onto his couch where he's nice and safe and comfortable uh, with the two and a half other members of the Catholic League.